practices in teaching English. Classroom management. A novice teacher may think all she needs to teach well is a good book. Nothing could be further from the truth. What she really needs is to relate to the students as human beings. A good teacher is a good manager. To establish rapport, a positive relationship with the students, the teacher needs to relate to them as human beings. This can be done in a number of ways. One way is to use the students' names so that they are not just a crowd but a group of individuals. Another is by setting a relaxed atmosphere, being friendly and warm to them through smiling and caring for the students. This way they can take risks which is needed with learning languages. Another thing is to maintain eye contact with the students as a group and listen to them carefully. This way they feel the classroom is a warm, inviting environment. One last point is the teacher's use of body language. What I mean here is the teacher's use of mime and gestures in order to explain the meaning of a word or in giving instructions and checking them. At any cost, the teacher should avoid such mannerisms that are repeated every now and then. Things like saying, okay, 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 or playing with the keys, or any such behavior that would distract the students from listening to the teacher and focusing on the lesson. By maximizing such rapport, the teacher can create an environment that's conducive to learning. Let's now see how Mr. Ashraf Mustafa manages this class effectively by using rapport and using a variety of groupings. Here we have, we have 
Notice how working individually gives students the time to do the work independently. It gives slow students the time to think without being dominated by faster students. Hands down, please. Hands down, now hands up. Yes. Have you finished? Yes. Oh, yes, it's okay. So we have four boxes and we have 12 characters. Have you written them in the right box? It's okay. Now you have one minute to work with the person next sitting next to you and you are going to check what you have written here with the person sitting next to you. Now stop, yes. Students now check in pairs, which helps them learn from each other, cooperating and making the lesson learner-centered. You all finished? Yes. yes. Right. Now who can come out now to stick these uh, cards to the right Shaza, Yara. By getting students to move from their seats to the board once in a while, Ashraf manages to save on class time. He thus gives the chance to outgoing students who like to show off. He allows them to move around to break the class boredom and monotony. Moreover, the answers here are anonymous, not belonging to any one student so that blame or criticism cannot be directed at Now, uh, who can add two more words for nationality? Who can give me two more words for nationality? Yes, uh, Nada? Spanish. Spanish. So now please, in one minute, you are going to work with the person sitting next to you. You are going to work again to write down two more words for each box. What are you going to can add? Two more words here. Yes. For, first, for the shape, we have thin, slim, fat. Okay, and more words. Amira? Sure. sure. And what about the character? What words can we add for the character here? Alia? Serious. Serious. Thank you. For the nationality, what words can we add for the nationality? Radwa. Indian. You can have Indian. Yeah, thank you. So today when we are talking about people, we have some um, famous people who are popular in uh, our society or in the world. You know them? Do you know any uh, popular one or famous one? Yes, who's the famous one you know? Yes, Nada, you know? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. <laughs> How can you describe him then? Black guy. <laughs> Thank you, Nada. Uh, so, uh, when we have some famous people, we can describe them using these things or these adjectives here. I have now some pictures for these people. Do you know them? Do you know this person? Yeah. Who's that? Yeah. Do you know this person? <laughs> yeah. Do you know this person? <laughs> what does she do? <laughs> what? Actress. Do you know this guy? <laughs> Why are that? <laughs> no. 
This is not all famous people. You agree with this? Yes. They are all famous? Yes. Now, I'm thinking about one of these characters here, or one of these persons here, who can ask me some questions to know who, who is the person I'm thinking about. Yes, Donia. What is your question? Is he or is it? Again, your, your question? Is, is, uh, is it, uh, yeah, thank you. A man. He is a man. Is it a man or a woman? What else? We can ask me another question. Heidi, can you ask me a question? What is his nationality? What is? He is Indian. Now, thank you. What's his nationality? If the task is too complicated, instructions may be followed by the teacher modeling an example himself. Alternatively, he may work on an example with a few good students while guiding them. So now we said that he's a man, uh, he's Indian, Indian, and he's not a funny person, and he's very tall with long black hair. Do you know who's the person I'm thinking about? Yes. yes. Who's the person I'm thinking about? Hela? Amita Kachan. Amita you agree with him? Yes. yes. Is it right? Yes. How did you know? Uh, he's an Indian. Indian. Indian, thank you. What else? Yes, Ham. He's not funny. He's not funny. Yes, Hadil. He's tall with a long black hair. He's tall and? With a long black hair. Long black hair. Thank you. Agree that he is? And we tap that same. Now we are going to do the same as we did now. We are going to have a program. In this program, we are going to present one of the characters here on the picture on the blackboard. We are going to work in groups. In these groups, you are going to make questions and answers. You are going to write questions and answers. Throughout these questions and answers, you are going to describe one of these persons here. You have 10 minutes to do this, but take care that you are not going to write the name of the person. But why? Because other groups or the whole class is going to guess who is the character you are talking about. Okay? okay. So, now, what are we going to write? To ensure successful group work, Ashraf got all the students to listen before he started giving clear step instructions. He reinforced these by using gestures and minds, as well as well-spread eye contact to get all the students' attention. Such instructions should be checked to make sure students know exactly what to do before they start. In groups, you are going to have four cards. You are going to work in a group of four. The first card will be for the manager. And the manager is the person in the group who is responsible for that. No one is speaking Arabic and everyone is participating. Then another one will have the red card, the presenter. And the presenter is the person who is going to come out with, a, with, with one down notes for the questions and answers. Right, so what are we going to write now? We've seen Ashraf giving role cards, including the roles of the secretary, presenter, manager, and timekeeper. Such roles help the teacher in monitoring and prevent discipline problems. In general, such roles enhance the team spirit of the group, and they make sure everybody cooperates while competing with the other teams. The green card will be for the manager, and the manager is responsible for no one will, will speak. Uh, now please, who has the green cards? Who has the green cards? Show me the green cards. Yes, the green cards. Show me the green cards. Yeah, 